appreciate you coming tonight. This behind me on the stage are the beginning course, and it consists of beginners from first, second, and fourth periods, which includes men's course, raise your hand please, men's course, all right, women's course, raise your hand, and beginning mixed. Fantastic, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I have to say this, this is some of their first times on stage ever. They are true beginners. And so for them to get up on stage tonight, first of all, they look great. And they sound fantastic. <laughs> and Mom and Dad, thank you so much for allowing me to share my time with them. So we're going to end our set with a piece called a Tongo. And it's a Polynesian piece. It's got some beats to it. So hopefully you guys don't get up out of your seat and start dancing up and down the aisle, okay? That might throw them off. So we have percussionists, Jared Gibbons, Caleb Ward, and Griffin Warren. <laughs> Oh. 
thank you so much. We do live in the best country in the whole entire world. Waiting up for me that I call. 
first piece that we're going to see is a cappella piece, and it basically depicts the birth of Jesus Christ. And I know it's not Christmas yet, but it's always an appropriate time to sing about Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you study Latin, you're not going to know anything we're saying. <laughs> Just trust us on this one, okay? When you get priest, that is Christ. And it talks about the animals and how they gathered around to see the wondrous sight and they beheld it. And so this is a beautiful a cappella piece in a minor key. And now I present to you the voices of the advanced choir. Our next piece is a piece called Prayer Fixes Things, and there's a scripture in the Bible that says, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Um, I think we live in a day and age 
where it's appropriate to pray about everything, even if you're not religious. And we can see the atrocities going on around us every single day, almost every single minute. So I think it's time to pray. Yes. short piece is going to be over before it starts. <laughs> Oh, 
It sounds like you really like that. So we're going to sing it again. We're going to end it with a fun piece. It's a Caribbean piece. Once again, unless you know Caribbean language or is it Spanish? Yeah, we don't know, do we? No. Okay. That's okay. That's good. That's even better. We're going to sing a piece tonight called Kangori Shango, and it includes some percussionists, and they are Jared Giddens and Caleb Ward. And on two, on the maracas. Yes.
Okay, we would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for coming tonight. We really appreciate everyone that's in the audience. Uh, without you, there's no us. And I've been professional, but now I've got to get gangster. I will never ever again in my whole life do alterations for 75 people. <laughs> I always lost my soul. Yeah, I did. But don't they look good? I cannot remind all of my soul. I have some help. Um, there's a lot of women involved in this process. First off, I would like to thank Ms. Jones. Our principal, please stand. And once you come out here tonight, Ms. Mavis Parks. I can do all the operations and I orchestrated it, and she took care of it for us. And every single member of the Board of Education, including uh, Dr. Lisa Williams, I'm not sure if she's here tonight, but if you are a part of the Board of Education, please stand to represent. We want to give you some applause as well. Any board? <laughs> and last, but definitely not least, I'm from the South, so she is the smoke neck bone in my collar breeze. <laughs> I want to ask my wife to stand, please. I love you. And I think I have a dollar here. I might have two, I don't know. Yeah. Ashley, stand up. Ashley, So I am very blessed and fortunate. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but I did fundraising for two years, and I said I was going to hang up my hat. I would never go back into the classroom ever again. But I met some special people, and some of the people that I did fundraising for and raised money for, I actually work with them now. So never say no. Here I am. And I am so, so honored and grateful for the opportunity to serve your students and this wonderful community. I really appreciate everyone. It's going to get better and better and better every single year, every single time we step on the stage. Thank you, this is a strong community. Thank you so much for embracing me and my family. I really do appreciate it. And so now it's time to sing our last song, but before we do. <laughs> parents, there is one glitch, I believe, and you probably received it on the remind, but just in case you didn't, your students will get back on the bus and they'll go back to the school. They are going to take a few moments to take off these beautiful uniforms. <laughs> they will leave them at school with me and they will wear their regular school clothes home. Aren't you grateful? <laughs> so if you will please follow us over to the school so that you can pick them up. It's probably only going to take about 20 minutes uh, to get undressed and redress back into the regular clothes. So all of our choral parents as well. If you have a student or a child up here, please stand, please. Please stand. We want to congratulate you. Thank you so much. Wow. That's amazing. That is amazing. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anyone. Thank you so much, Wes Davis, for the sound and the lights. And uh, I don't want to leave anybody out. Just thank you to everybody. Oh, oh yes, Mr. Andy Daughtry from the First Baptist Church. He paid for the forgiveness of the grace of the Lord. Hi, guys. We're going to be calling the night. Thank you so much for being patient with us tonight. This is a song that's near and dear to my heart. It was actually a song that I learned in high school many, many years ago. And so I always end the concert with this song. Uh, it has a special meaning. 
Music, I believe that, is universal and it ties everything together. It doesn't matter which background you come from, which nationality, how much money you have, how much education you have. We always have that one bond, and that bond is music. Have you ever been somewhere and you heard a song and it brings nostalgia and it takes you back? Well, this is one of those songs, and I was in the 10th grade, and we're still singing it to this every day. What would I do without my music?
Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. You got pictures? All right. Perfect. Okay. 